all the California's listeners, you know, you have two options now. Or stand there and fight back, or just to emigrate to Arizona. As simple as that. Here we go, guys. Second hour, Love, Guns and Freedom with Lucas Zanna. This is the hour about guns. This show, it is not for entertainment purposes. When we talk about guns, it is not just about, you know, let's talk about that gun, let's uh, review that gun. No, this is about real stuff, okay? For me, the only goal I really have is to have as many law-abiding citizens out there in this republic to be armed and trained with the right mindset. That's the goal. And I understand, you know, I'm not an instructor. I'm not here over the radio. I cannot give you the knowledge of, of this art, okay, and science. But I can give you at least the hints, the input, how to find good training. Because this is something that now, even for people that they thought, you know, that's never going to happen here in America. You know, after all, we are safe. First of all, you're never safe because, you know, beside God, nobody's going to protect you. Seriously, you know very well, the police, you know, they don't live with you, they don't sleep with you. And honestly, most of the times, I'm sorry, I think you're better off by yourself. But that's another story. We got to start to understand that it's your responsibility as a man or as a woman to take care of yourself, take care of your family, number one. And of course, then if you can, you help also others. The idea is to help each other. As a good people, we want to help each other. But my goal is if you have a gun, you know, you know very well that's a big responsibility. With freedom comes responsibility. So don't think just because you bought the latest gun out there or the latest shotgun out there, you think now you're done. No, that's just the beginning of your journey. You got trained. You have to train. And I'm trying to find here new ideas, new solutions to try to share with you that they can empower you to become a better uh, gun owner. Simple as that. And I bring you the experts, you know, because I'm just a professional student. That's what I am. I'm very humble. I like to go out there and I study and try to learn from everybody. That's my goal. But I want to bring you people who are here and do this as a profession, as a living. So I call them expert. One of them is one of a great guy. I really like him. On top, you know, we're on the same side on many issues. And that's very important, you know, because I have on this show people that normally I agree or disagree. It doesn't matter. But when I have people that also we share the same values, I call them brothers. Brothers and sisters in freedom. His name is Cope Reynolds from Arizona. Cope, are you there? Brother Zana, I am here. How are you doing today? Very, very good, Brother Cope. How's it going, man? Excellent. Oh, we're doing okay. You know, before we go ahead, and many of my listeners already know you, just give a short, very short story, you know, who you are, what you do for a living, you know, your, your, your profession as, as an instructor in the firearm art and science, as I call it. Go ahead. Well, look, I've been uh, I've been a professional instructor since ninety uh, about ninety four, I believe it was, mm -hmm. and uh, my own Southwest Shooting Authority. We used to have a, a good sized retail shop and everything, and then I uh, got involved in some some uh, things that I probably shouldn't have, and uh, so we've we've dedicated everything to training now. We are full time training. I travel all over the country training. I'm putting together another class in Washington as we speak. Wow. And um, that's that's all I do now. It's my full time job. I'm not a not a uh, not a weekend uh, out in the garage instructor. This is my full time job. Very good, very good. That's exactly what I want you here because my goal, as you heard, I want to give to my listeners the opportunity to find the great op great solutions to train to get better, you know, and to find the right tools, you know. And most of the times, see, I tell you, I don't even bring sponsors. I like to bring everything. Really, I think it's real that I would buy myself, because that's the purpose of this show. I'm not trying to pander for anything, but also at this time, I'm gonna have some sort of a double purpose. I would like to bring a tool that every one of you, especially if you if you shoot and train with a Glock, a Glock handgun, you know, you may find a lot of good benefits out of this opportunity. And also at the same time, if you're going to purchase this tool, through this uh, radio show, I mean, lovegunsfreedom.com, you can support this show. And this is thanks to your help, because, you know, you come out with this idea of this tool. Before we go ahead, and I'm going to give um, the rest of the story, let's remind to our listeners the importance of the concept of dry practice that has a very scientific uh, uh, benefit. You know, I mean, it's been tested during the South, I mean, during the embargo that was in South Africa in the 70s. You know the story probably that the, the South African army, there was uh, an embargo. They could not get their ammunition because of the apartheid laws they had. But they found, they test the system uh, to do dry practice. That means sh training and shooting for, uh, you know, for the different qualifications without live ammo. 
And they see that they saw that they have incredible results, even better than people of the soldiers they were training with the live ammo. So can we remind a little bit the concept of dry practice and why it's so fundamental to every gun owner? Well, look at dry practice. There, there are some people out there that say some of the people that are, are really, really good, like Jerry Michelak and, and uh -huh. some of those, uh, they dry practice maybe as much as two or three hundred times for each live round they actually fire on the range. Wow, wow. Wow. Um, they, you're developing good habits. Uh, you want a, you want to be able to dry practice in such a way that it is the same as, as if you were firing a live gun out on the range, mm -hmm. and not develop any additional habits that you don't actually use when you're firing. Dry practice is, um, it can be used in every aspect of your life, not just guns. Uh, everything that you do, you can practice without doing it for real mm -hmm. in the in the movements and everything, and be able to. Uh, develop that uh, that muscle memory, as they call it, those good habits, so that you'll just immediately f default to that and fall back on that when and if uh, the time ever comes. So, dry practice is. Some people say, "Well, well, if you're not shooting, I mean, you know, what good does that do? I mean, you'd be out at the range shooting. I like to go out and make noise." What happens when you're shooting the the actual gun? You get the recoil and the noise and the movement and all this stuff going on and people around you. And some of the mistakes that you make, mm -hmm. you don't notice. You don't see them because the gun's moving anyway because of the recoil. Exactly. And but you're having fun because yeah. you're going out making noise and and everything. So uh, um, it, it you're you're actually. They say practice makes perfect. That is not true. Perfect practice makes perfect. Exactly. You can go out and practice wrong all day long and be very good at doing it wrong. Exactly. But and also, you know, practice perfectly. The very important, what you said, it's very important. Perfect practice makes perfect, you know. And more important, also at the same time, you know, we also live it with a new equation, part of the equation, that uh, it's economic hardship. The economy is not exactly what it used to be. And of course, the price of ammo doesn't matter, it's still going up. So uh, let's start to make sense. You know, I, in my humble journey, one thing I learned uh, when I learned the dry practice, you know, for every round that I shoot at the range, I, I do normally 10, 15 uh, dry practice. Now what I heard about uh, people doing like uh, Mikolek, you know, doing 200 uh, dry practice, that, that's gonna make me even feel better. But my point is, think about it, guys. You go out, you spend your average, I don't know, $20 for a box of 50 rounds if you shoot a 40 or 45, and you realize that 50 rounds go very fast. And then, as you said, uh, Cope, you know, you cannot realize exactly the mistakes you're making. But what if, uh, because, you know, there is the combustion, the recoil, all these different factors that ca you cannot focus on the individual movements. Then think about it. Not only you have the benefit when you do dry practice to almost, you know, section, step by step, every little thing that you're doing, you can analyze it. But also, you can uh, m multiply that uh, drill. Let's say you're doing... Uh, I don't know, control pair uh, from, the, from, from the ready or from the host, it doesn't matter, and you have only 50 rounds, that's going to go pretty fast. Instead, if you do, let's say, for every control pair that you shoot, for every two rounds that you shoot live, you do at least 20 or 30 dry practice, at the end of the day, even if you just did like 10 times dry practice, you would have shot at least like 200 rounds instead than, you know, probably uh, just uh, 20 rounds, you know. So that's powerful right there. And I really think it works so much. Now, solution. You came out, or at least what I understand, you have a product that is really in, in, interesting for Glock users to uh, create that sort of uh, repeat trigger work that normally we cannot do with a Glock because the Glock is not like a revolver. So, you know, we had to rack the slide every time. So, tell me a little more about what you created, what you put together there. All right, now, now let me back up just real quick. Yes. Another great advantage to dry practice is I don't care how much snow's on the ground, how hard the wind's blowing, or how much it's raining, mm -hmm. um, I can dry practice anytime. Um, I, and I've proven this over and over and over again to students. If you can just take out of your precious schedule, if you can just take literally five minutes, yes. three or four times a week, it will help you dramatically if you can kind of if you can put together 15 minutes, uh, three or four or five times a week, you would be absolutely astonished. Yes. At the at the uh, improvement that you'll show after just one month's time without yeah. ever firing a single shot on the range. 
It is true. And it by the way, amazing. it's a perishable skills. And I tell you something, you know, I did a test myself intentionally also connected to real life, uh, you know, personal situations I had for a month. I didn't do no dry practice, no range time at all. Then cold turkey, I went to do the basic qualification. Uh, uh, normally I do the different tests. I, normally I use the front side for days and gun cl class that normally I do distinguish every time. Guess what? I had to push it a lot because I realized that I was getting really, really out of shape. Instead of just doing it, I did a month, not going to the range at all, but just doing some basic dry practice, as you said, even just five minutes a day, few times during the week, you know, you you have, uh, I don't know, it's it's like, it's almost impossible to believe, but it's true. It is true. You know, people, uh, believe it or not, people dry practice a little bit every day, whether they like it or not. Mm -hmm. Every single day, when they put that gun back in the holster, that, that when they get up in the morning or pull it out at night, you're dry practicing. Yes. Uh, when you go to the bathroom uh, and have to pull your pants down, <laughs> you have to take the gun out. You're dry practicing. Yes. You should true. be doing that properly, dynamically, the same presentation that you would as if you were out on the range. Yes. Because you will absolutely create some bad habits by doing that if you don't do it right. If that's all the practice you're getting, yes, then and you're doing it wrong, then it's going to cost you. And even, you know, not just the handgun, by the way, Don't I, I realized another thing I was uh, falling in that trap myself a few years ago was when I was reaching for my magazine. You know, instead of doing the indexing, because I thought, okay, I'm just putting my magazine now on the table because I'm going to the bathroom or whatever, okay? No, I, you know, you had to do always the same way because if you start exactly. to adopt, you know, like the con, I call it the ice cream con uh, technique, okay? You know, wrong, you know, you just handle it like an ice cream con. Then, even you say, okay, I'm just now doing it for tech practical purposes because I'm taking my shoes off or whatever, guess what? Then you're going to start to train to do it wrong. So it's so important, this part. Any specific uh, um, ideas? Because, you know, there are different things we can do with dry practice. But let's say for somebody that is new to this concept, any specific ideas that uh, safely they can do at home, uh, just like an average routine? Well, we have a... Um we have a little product that we've been making now for probably, uh, I think I started probably 2006, I believe. Okay. And uh, it's simply called the Glock Dry Practice Kit. It doesn't work with any other handgun. Okay. And it's a little kit that you draw. You take your, your stock trigger out and drop this trigger in. Very mm -hmm. simple. With a little experience, you can do it in 30 seconds. Yes. Uh, if you have manual and you know, step by step, you should be able to do it in less than a minute. And uh, when you put this kit in, mm -hmm. the gun then becomes uh, absolutely, totally incapable of firing a live round. It is mechanically impossible. Wow, that's but good. But what it does do is allow the trigger, you, you press the trigger and you get your click pretty mm -hmm. much like normal, reset the trigger. Mm -hmm. You know how important reset is? Yes. So uh, it allows you to you know, press, reset, press, reset, press, reset repeatedly as many times as you need to. So otherwise, without this kit, what you're doing is press, hold the trigger to the rear, mm -hmm. rack the slide, reestablish your grip, reset, and press again. Luca, what good does that do you? Nothing. Honestly, that's bad because it's, it's very dangerous, that uh, habit, I tell you, uh, because then you start to think in real life that uh, every time you shoot around, you need to rack the slide. That becomes almost automatic, you know? Uh, Luca, I've seen a lot of people out on the range rack out live rounds on the ground for that yeah, very reason. Exactly. And I like also another important thing about this tool. By the way, I'm looking at the photos. First of all, you have like a red dot, very, very easy to and clear to see that is exactly on the trigger that shows that uh, you know when you're handling that gun in the dry practice session even of course we always we always follow the same type of uh, safety rules that gun for us is always a handgun i don't care if it's a if it's a toy i still treat it like with respect and the same you know basic rules but at least i know that that gun cannot fire and there is that uh, very specific trigger with a red point that really makes a difference. I think it's very important also for safety. Because I tell you, I, I heard stories, you know, uh, people do not follow in the, all the rules that normally I've been talking about for discipline uh, in the house to do dry practice. It takes a second, just a, a phone call, somebody is distracted and you reach for the wrong magazine. You don't follow the rule that no rounds in the room where you're training and boom. 
uh, you may have a, a, a very sad uh, accident uh, that is not an accident it is a, it is a negligence in my opinion right you know but uh, so this is very good i like the way you set it up so the red point is great and also i think you know the trigger reset it's vital especially for the glock you know that's one of the most important thing we got to train with the glock it's not a revolver it's not a single action and uh, i tell you honestly i never tried that you know but i saw videos i saw youtubes i saw i read reviews and i tell you i spent a few hundred dollars just a few months ago and now i start to regret a little bit as much as i like it for the simulated uh tool it's called cert you know the handgun uh, cert si right. you know it's great you know you have a laser and uh, it feels like a glock it's uh, fits your holster but you know at the end of the day it's 300 dollars, okay or so so uh, now with with less than 60 dollars or so you can get something that I don't even need to have another simulated gun. I have a real gun that normally I carry with me and I can be safe and I can do incredible things. Like for example, so, you know, one thing I don't like about the cert, I cannot do um, a, a emergency reload, for example. The, the slide doesn't rack. It's just a funny slide, you know. This uh -huh. one, I can still use it as a real gun, correct? Right, yeah. And back to that red dot you were talking about. That red dot, you can actually feel it. It's also it's very visible when it's light. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you remember to check, if it's a low light situation, you pick up a gun in the dark or something, you can reach up there with your index finger and feel that spot on either side. Yes. And be able to tell immediately that that's not the, the live trigger. Yeah, it's a And then take it's, whatever it's, appropriate it's little, action is necessary. Little hollow. I see. It's a little, uh, there is a little concavity. Very good. So, at least right. that's, that's the point. You know, I found out about this honestly i didn't know there was you that you were behind this product and i said wow i need to contact cope you know i want to be honest uh, guys uh, listeners you know this show needs help to go on you know i my time it's free but i have cost i and the time that i dedicate to this energy during the week i could do my other you know pay my bills doing my other things that do normally for life so i say you know i want to find a way to keep this show independent and free do not rely on sponsors but at the same time like i know many of you guys support me uh downloading my songs and i remind you if you want to do that you can always go to my zanna.us website for 99 cents you can download any of my songs and this way you support the show but today i said you know what why do not even give something that it's even more for gun owners than when they purchase this product through the radio show they can also help me out to support the show. So I, I wanted to call you and I called you and we, you know, you gave me the opportunity to resell this product. So I wanted just to say, first of all, thank you, Coop. And I hope all the listeners out there, I will post a photo exactly of this product. The, how do you want to call this? It's called the Glock Dry Practice Kit. We want to call yeah, it like that? Yeah, that's simple. That's all it is. So it fits for every Glock, uh, third generation and fourth generation, 9 millimeters, 40 and uh, 357 and 45 GAP. Well, there's there's uh, three models of okay. the Glock Dry Practice Kit. There's one that fits all the nines, okay. uh, with the exception of the new 43. The new 43 and 42, mm -hmm. uh, we don't have kits for those and probably won't in the foreseeable future because of a parts issue. Okay. Uh, but it fits every other 9mm, 40, 357, and 45 gap. Okay. One, one fits all of them. They're made so that they'll fit either... The third generation or the fourth generation. That would also, of course, include the first and second generations. But uh, you'll need a different kit if you're shooting any of the full size 45s. Mm -hmm. um, the, the 21, uh, the 10 millimeter, the Glock mm -hmm. 20, 21, 29, 30. Um, I, uh, I think that's all right off the top of my head. Yeah. There's a different one for those, and then there's one for the Glock 36, which oh. is in a class all by itself, being okay. a small single stack. Okay. Uh, but most people don't dry practice too much with the 36. It's not the certainly yeah. not the most popular gun that Glock has out there by any means. But Okay, so listen, that's the situation, guys. If you want to have the opportunity to get mm -hmm. one of those, okay, I tell you how to do it. Go to the website that normally you go to, Love guns freedom.com i will post the link a big photo of the of the of this uh, uh, uh dry practice kit and there is a link that goes straight to my email okay and i will get i will start to take pre-orders simple as that and uh what is the suggested retail price that normally you know you would sell this uh, 69.95. Okay. And we come out with a match grade one where the trigger pull is down to uh, around three and a half pounds, mm -hmm. and it's ten dollars more. It's it's uh, a little bit more work to make that happen. Yeah. So, um, but let's say I honestly, you know what? 
guys, I would like to keep it simple for us. And honestly, I tell you, as much as I like the match stuff, normally in the real life, you know, we carry, at least myself, I carry a Glock with a standard uh, trigger because I also for liability situations. But I would like to keep it simple. I would get the, the, the basic dry practice kit for, of course, 940 and also the other sites. But the point is, go to lovegunsfreedom.com. There is a big photo I will put there with a link. You go straight to my email. Okay, you'll send me an email if you're interested. Okay, you send me an email, and uh, we said the price was sixty nine ninety nine. What, what do you say? Yeah, sixty nine ninety five. Yeah. Okay, not only that, I will also give you a free song with that. Okay, I will send you also a couple of free songs for every order. Okay, now and in the, doing this way, the little bit of profit that there is, I will put straight forward towards the production of the show. It's not even for me, honestly. I'm you know I got my life already set. I do my stuff. I'm just trying to keep this show going so I don't need to beg for sponsors and in this way we can keep it free and uh, I, don't, I can say whatever I want and you can say whatever you want and we don't need to you know, always say, okay, if the sponsor is, gets mad or not, we don't care. That's the bottom line. So go to lovegunsfreedom.com and you will find the Glock Try Practice Kit. And I tell you guys, you know, if you don't have a Glock, that's fine. But if you have a Glock, this is a great opportunity to train for a very good price. And people say, oh my God, 69 bucks, guess what? Uh, when you go to the range, um, if you have like a 40, how many boxes do you buy with 70 bucks? Not much, right, Cope, in these days? Oh, no, what, uh, four boxes maybe? Maybe. You know, and we've got a 90-day warranty on parts and workmanship on these. Luke, I had one in my in my classroom uh -huh. when I was up in Farmington, New Mexico. That thing probably had, I'm going to guess, pretty easily twenty to 30,000 trigger presses wow. on it. And, and, and it was still, and it's still used. Yeah, um, it's not going to wear out in you know in a in a summer. Exactly. Gonna, this is a long-lasting product. It works very well, and it works for a long time. You know, and there's I'm been a couple of others made out there mm -hmm. that have uh, been similar. Uh, I won't mention any names, but there was one back uh, several years ago mm -hmm. that was available through one of the the big uh, Glock dealers, mm -hmm. and it was good for about ninety days. You'd wow. you'd uh, use it, and it had a spring in there. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. And you would have to take that spring out and turn it around mm. to make it last. It would develop a set. Wow. And the spring was asked to do two, two different things. Wow. And um, it didn't do it very well. Yeah. Uh, so that's where we got the idea uh, to build the Glock Dry Practice Kit. And we improved on it dramatically, changed it quite a bit, and um, made it where it's a, uh, yeah, I, you know, I can't say lifetime, I guess. I don't know. But um, it's not going to wear out in one summer of hard use. I can promise you that. And also that the alternative, guys, you know, I tell you, I, I try them all. I like to test them all. I love the third handgun. It's great if you want to have it as a tool for learning and training around the house. But you need to start to put out a few hundred dollars, okay? Seriously. And uh, this is something that's a great solution. And you really have the same gun. And what I like, I can still rack my slide. I can do emergency reload if I want to. I want to do, for example, my, uh, you know, different type of malfunctions. is the same handgun normally I carry. So Every single procedure that you do on the range, Luca, you can do with this thing except make noise. Exactly. All of your malfunctions, all of your reloads, uh, trigger press, side alignment, presentation, um, Every type of, of technique and procedure that you can think of can be done realistically yeah. with the Glock Dry Practice Kit in there. You just cannot fire a live round. And I, want, I need to get one SAP. I'm not even going to wait for the order. I'm going to buy it we finish the conversation. But now, listen, guys, to me. Not only you help this show, you also, you know, I like when the American people, even especially in our state, we're in Arizona, okay? And when I see uh, the small business owner coming out with an idea and producing it, you know, uh, away from big corporate control. So this is like exactly every business starts from an idea and hard work of people. And no, Obama, you did not do it for us. We are doing it. We are making it, okay? That's and, right. and that's the bottom line. We work, we risk, we invest, and, you know, and we sometimes we make mistakes and we go on. That's part of being American and the free spirit of this country. So out there... Not only you get something good for your training, your family, you also is going to help two different entities here. One is my radio show, Love, Guns, and Freedom. If you're listening, I hope it's worth it. And the other way, somebody like Cop Reynolds that is dedicated his life to sharing this information, to training people, and also for the cause of freedom. The guy is an activist. He's one of us. So that's the bottom line. So don't be cheap. Cough it up. 
go to lovegansfreedom.com and we appreciate it. Right, Cop? Right. Yes, sir, we do. <laughs> I've sold these uh, dry practice kits in, uh, I believe it's 16 or 17 countries right now. Wow. I just sent uh, 40 of them out to Fort Bragg, North Carolina. That's great. And we've got several um, uh, several law enforcement agencies and individual law enforcement officers that use them because it's a, uh, an alternative to the red gun. The red gun that Glock offers is a, is a four four hundred dollar gun yeah that does the same thing the dry practice kit does exactly for 69.95 and i like that red point it's so good because you know you realize that you cannot shoot live ammo it's safe it is not just you know when i play around with my i mean i play around i do dry practice with my regular glock and i have some other system like like the laser that you put inside the chamber things like that i still freak out a little bit sometimes even i know that i'm safe but still i it's, it's a gun when I, if I had a trigger like that one, I see that it's 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 completely deactivated. It's always safer. I think it's always safer, especially in the house. List and cope. One more time, I appreciate it. And uh, please, uh, if people want to reach you out, for example, for some of your classes, how they can get all of you. Uh, best way to do it is go to our website, southwestshootingauthority.com. Pretty easy, southwestshootingauthority.com. Um, you can call um, or email at training at southwestshootingauthority.com. Perfect. And you're listening Pretty to love, love, Guns, and Freedom with Lucas Zanna. Don't go away after this hour of uh, guns. We will talk about now love, but it's a different type of love today. Are you ready to stand up for this country? Because we are under attack. You, you know, this is the final love. Let's show to our next generation that we did everything we could. Don't go away. He's a songwriter, a poet, a rifleman. I'm not afraid and a constitutional activist. I'm not afraid. Italian by birth. I'm not afraid. American by choice. Gianluca Zana. I'm not afraid. And his new CD, Love, Guns, and Freedom. 16 powerful songs on one CD from the heart of a patriot. For download or to order the CD, go to www.lovegunsfreedom.com. That's www.lovegunsfreedom.com. Lyrics for your mind, music for your heart. John Lucazana's new CD, Love, Guns, and Freedom.